Hello pupils! Hi everyone! Nice to meet you! I'm Yulia Vladislavovna, a teacher of English at Educational Complex number 42 and I welcome you with pleasure at my English class. Our topic for today is seasons, weather and meet our helpers. So, pupils' book for the pupils of the fifth form by Oksana Karpiuk and workbook for the pupils of the fifth form by Oksana Karpiuk. How are you? How's life? I'm very well. How's the weather today? Yes, the weather is nice. It's wonderful. Answer my question, please. What can you see outside? Yes, you are right. Buds on the trees. What else? Yeah, blossoms on the branches. What else? Yes, clouds on the trees. And what else? Yeah, the sun in the sky. Well, I like to play word games. And what about you? Do you like to play them? Okay, I suggest you to play a game expand a sentence. And the rule is Add as many words as you can. And don't forget our topic. It's seasons and weather. Let's give us a try. I can see buds. I can see buds. I can see bars on the trees. I can see green bars on the trees. I can see green bars on the brown trees. I can see green blooming bars on the brown trees. I can see green blooming buds on the brown trees in spring. So, you can do it as much as you want. And the next activity for you, it will be a small competition. Do you know who will be the winner? The winner is the most attentive pupil. Now, Please take your pens and pencils, sheets of paper or copy books or notebooks and get ready to write out from the video all the words connected to the weather and nature topic. Can we start? Okay.
Okay, let's check the answers. It's sunny day, flowers bloom, sunlight, butterflies, rainy day, hills and trees, fresh and green, rainbow, leaves, windy day, Sky, snowy day, snowflakes, frozen leaves. Well done! Good job! Everybody is the winner! So, the next part of our lesson, let's repeat grammar. Just a bit, a bit, a bit. Prepositions. Prepositions of place. What is it preposition? Do you know the answer? Yes, you are right. A preposition is a little word that links a phrase to the rest of the sentence. Some prepositions of place are at, in, on. How do they use prepositions of place? Prepositions of place is the Ukrainian for primenniki mista. At is used for a point. At вказує на точку, місце. Наприклад, at the corner, at the cinema, at the door, at the top of the page. At the end of the road, at the entrance, at the crossroads, at the front desk, at home. In is used for an enclosed space. In вказує на замкнутий простір. Наприклад, for example, in the garden, in London, in Germany, in a box, in my pocket, in a building, in a car, in the kitchen, in the park. On is used for a surface. On вказує на поверхню. Наприклад, for example, on the wall, on the cover, on the floor. On the carpet, on the menu, on a page, on a bus, on a plane, on a horse. Please be very attentive and remember. In a car, but on a bus. In a taxi, but on a train. In a helicopter, but on a plane. At a boat, but on a ship. She sits at the desk. 
the Ukrainian foe will be Vona Sidit Zaparto you. The map lies on the desk. The Ukrainian foe will be Mapa Lejit Naparti. Here we have also some examples. I saw her at the bus station. Can I meet you at the cinema? Your books are on the table. The painting looks nice on the wall. Jim is in the kitchen. Your bags is in the car. And I suggest you to exercise this skill. Please. Fill in, in, at, on. Here are the sentences and we should put these prepositions into them. So, her brother lives, yes, you are right, in a small town. The second sentence, his office is, you are right, on the third floor. Tom is sitting, yes, in an armchair. The picture is on the wall. She was ill and stayed in bed. We meet at the station at seven. Are there any good films? At the cinema, yes, this week, you are right. Are there any good films at the cinema this week? The next sentence, sentence number eight. We went to see a play at the National Theatre. Yes. Sentence number nine. We were at the sea for ten weeks. Sentence number 10, I did not see her at the party. Yes, you are right. The children are playing. We are in the street. Yes, the children are playing in the street. Great job. Clap yourself and we continue. So, complete the sentences in the way that is true for you. I will start, you repeat after me, but these sentences should be true for you, don't forget. So, windy days are fun because I can read a lot of books. When the sun shines, I feel happy, joyful, wonderful. I love the snow because I can play snowballs, I can make a snowman, I can sledge going down the hills, I can ski, I can just play in the snow and enjoy life. I feel depressed in rainy day and I drink a lot of coffee and tea. What do you do in rainy days? Say about yourself. I feel happy in rainy days and dance. What do you do in rainy days? Great job! Wonderful! Clap yourself! I suggest you small physical relaxation. 
look at me and repeat. Wiggle your fingers, nod your head, bend your head from side to the side, try to sit. Shake your hands, shake your body, and let's do the last activity for today. Do you like the stories? Yes, me too. Let's complete this story. So, repeat after me. There are four seasons in the year. Winter, spring, summer and autumn. Every season has its fine days and is pleasant in its own way. As for me, I try to be happy in every season of the year. I try to appreciate each type of weather. My favorite season is winter because my birthday is in winter. I may spend spend a lot of time skating, skiing and sledging. Sometimes the weather is awful, but I read books in front of the fireplace. Winter is really good time for children and for teachers. That's all for today. You made a very good job. And please, a small home task for you. For the next time. It's Pupils Books Exercise for 5 at page 184 and 185. And Workbook at Exercise 98 page 98. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye. See you next time.